also nah, fisherman it, thinks man. about this. Is it, it, fisherman man? Is fisherman the type of guy, man? You, are you are you in the sisters fisherman? No. Okay, so um, I you, told you I've only ever been with glider women and then one uh, burrito I you were like, tiger I, hybrid. You, I thought you were Do you say screw I women. I thought you were say I've only ever been with one woman. I you were <laughs> no bullshit. Like, the, way, the way it was gleaning, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> no. you started, I've only been with one woman. Right. Glider women and then one uh, burrito tiger hybrid. <laughs> oh, man. So you're not down with the brown. I've actually had a couple of them ask me out, and I turned them down. Yikes! Okay, so 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 so. so <laughs> damn! Can you imagine the sister? No the, 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 What it takes to a sister to the ask balls, out? Right? Sisters, sisters ain't asking you out, man. Nope. Um, and you done, you done ruined it for everybody, man. That ain't never gonna ask nobody else out, motherfucker. Um, woman on TikTok gives a few tips to black women on getting a white man. Get rid of that resting bitch face. Crack a smile. So I want to help my sisters out. A lot of sisters are saying that the white men are intimidated to approach them. Here is my advice to you: start with your vibe. Your vibe. Yo, of course she does the video while a bunch of hands are <laughs> cackling in the background. <laughs> right. She's telling people how to get a man and shit. With her tattoos on her yeah. shoulder. Is that one on her face? No, that's not. So I want to help my sisters out. A lot of sisters are saying that the white men are intimidated to approach them. Here is my advice to you. Start with your vibe. Your vibe, your aura, your energy. That's going to speak for itself. If you can be that vibe, that aura, that energy, he is definitely going to open his mouth. If not, it's okay for you to extend that vibe and allow things to naturally, organically happen. Be yourself. People are attracted to people that are themselves. If you're trying to be somebody else, it's just not going to work in general. Like, be yourself. As black women, I must attest that we sometimes have that resting bitch face. Get rid of it because that's going to immediately intimidate a white guy to be like, oh, yeah, no, never mind. She's probably. <laughs> Man. Turn the fucking TV down, bitch. She looks like somebody took a knife and spread the tilla on her head. <laughs> <laughs> Why is yeah? Why is she not exhibiting all this class while she's making this video? She had the TV blaring or whatever the fuck that is. She she speaks well, but that's just a turn off. And um, I want to know, fisherman, does this is is is, 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 is this sister? Is she on the right path to getting with a a guy like you, man? I mean, me no, but like a glider dude in general, yeah. She said, she said, like, be just, with blonde hair. <laughs> it's, it's over. Yeah, I mean, women, like, you know, they all got fake tits and eyelashes and everything else. So it's like the blonde hair is not really that out of character. Salute to CA, man. She says, Osa. CA, what's up, baby? <laughs> yeah, man. Please take the $5 challenge view of PayPal Cash up with the Super Chat. We got three fifty in the building. We've had over a thousand people come through. We've had like four people hit the hit the hit the um take the five dollar challenge or the ten dollar challenge or the twenty dollar challenge. Um, hey, uh, the only reason you can't hear the uh, smoke detector is because the TV's too damn loud. <laughs> Maybe you know that's why what? it's up so loud. Mine <laughs> mine went out today, man. I heard a chirp today, man, and I heard it and it chirped twice before I took my um. Um, detector down, and I um, I gotta go get some D batteries because I was about, I was about to change the battery. Then I looked in and I said, "Oh shit, fuck!" D batteries. Nobody ever has a D battery. No. Um, so I was like, "So, right, so, cool. Ag, Ag, why do you think like Sun Sisters obviously hate glider women more than they hate anything else ever on the planet? Why is she even bothering?" But they don't. They're not. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. There is a resurgence because 
of the internet and the the gender war. You know, you're familiar with the gender war that's going on, right? No, it's like you know, like the red, red pill, pill versus the you heard TV. That. Oh, uh, like the, the yeah, the dating Fresh alpha dead, Chad stuff. Um, Tate, no, you know? like like uh, Kevin Samuels, Tommy, um, Andrew Tate, Rotomar, Andrew Tate, Fresh. I never really listened to a lot of that. Um, like this, if you white, um, but uh, you're aware of that though. It's 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 a very big thing on social media. So sisters, are, there's this thing called divested. So sisters who are who only date white men and stay in and and, and and um you know try to stay away from black people in general are called divestors. They're divested, they're divesting from their communities. Okay, I've heard of that. Yeah, so 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 they're divesting. So she's she's probably a divester and you know, and she's right trying to help other divestors get um get a white man maybe she has a white man i hope i would hope she has a white man if she's giving advice on that um You're not even interested or don't even want to be bothered crack a smile crack a smile a little wink or you know a little flirtatious type of motion or gesture that is going to get his attention my question is sisters how come y'all couldn't do this when y'all was invested <laughs> no boy. Why y'all to get divested to do all this fucking flirtation shit? Basic shit. This shit is basic as fuck. Yeah, why, why we get the bullshit? Mm. And as soon as you divest, you fucking turn into goddamn. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you a whole new boo. bitch now, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's wow. fucked up, man. It's some bullshit. Right? It's some basic ass shit you supposed to do. She, she, like this is how bad it is. Like she's, this shit is basic. Exactly. These, these aren't exactly. even advanced techniques. <laughs> so well, my, my thing that. about like why right. I don't even want to bother with sisters is because I don't want to deal with the constant like racial undertones of every fucking conversation. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Absolutely. Plus, I don't want to deal with the extended family either. Yeah, yeah. them constantly Fuck side on you or talking shit. Fuck that. You know, man, you go to the barbecue and it's like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, but you know, the, the, you could, yeah, it, it, you could flip that and it could work in your favor, but nah, it's, it's a long shot. Hey, I so say this, man. What? Oh, I just so want to say, Sunman from. Sunmen, from my experience, they hate it when, like for me, when you're Latino and you date a, a sister, they'll be like, oh, why are you dating that Chico for? You know, stuff like that. Really? Nah. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, he's from New York, though. He's yeah. from New York. You probably get it. Well, it's probably a different vibe. Of, it is a different vibe up there, though. It, it is. Like, it, it is. Like. DC, I don't think you would. I don't know. I don't even know if like a hot sister from the hood, a sister that's like desirable from her hood. I don't know. If she's coming through the block with Rico Suave and shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So dudes wouldn't even have to say that. You know what I mean? That's true. Like in DC, okay. them sisters is like like they under lock and key. Like that's like yo, <laughs> brothers got them sisters. In that DMV area, it's like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. For the most part, homegrowns is yeah. is rocking with the home team. That's facts. Maybe some transplants. You'll see some transplants. People come to the city, going for jobs and stuff. You see some sisters with some white guys, but um, for the most part, sisters where I'm from, it's a wrap, my G. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'll be if I want to, I'll be out here cleaning up. Son, yeah, it's easy to clean up in DC. Yeah. It's like, it's like, man, listen, man, God, man, and and and, and man, man, um, salute to salute to DC and PG County, man. A smile, a little wink, or you know, a little flirtatious type of motion or gesture that is going to get his attention, baby. 
do not be afraid to speak first. Say hello. Hello does not hurt anybody. Actually, believe it or not, sometimes a hello can go a long way. You make somebody's day sometimes by just saying hello. <laughs> Give them a compliment. Believe it or not, men like to be complimented, and that is... Yo, don't let us. Invest? Yeah, invest. <laughs> this is like literally this. This is literally the script that the sisters that tried talking to me did. Really? Yeah, this is like literally exactly what they did. Holy shit, man! I've never had a sister approach me like this. I've had, I've now, I've, I've always had to do the approaching. Even girls that have liked me, like in school, some girl like you for like two years and shit, and then finally you be like, all right, holler at her and shit. Like, but she, this bitch that liked you for two years, and when you finally holler at her, she's fucking being mean and shit. Yeah, she got <laughs> uninterested. <laughs> you're, you're, uh, the last one that, well, I mean, it's only happened a couple times, but the last one that did it, she said, hey. And I was like, what's up? And she said, you know you look like Mark Wahlberg? I was like, oh, okay, which I've heard that a bunch of times. And then she goes, "Yeah, you know, he's a really hey. cute guy. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, well, thanks. And I just walked off. Damn. Hey, y'all, uh, who thinks, who thinks fishermen really look like Mark Wahlberg? <laughs> that's what I did. I've heard that so many times in my life. It's like, that's what I get. Everywhere I go and people don't know me, they have to tell me that. Hey, uh, ladies, ladies, who thinks, who thinks... <laughs> Oh, no, no. <laughs> DVK put a two in the chat. <laughs> Why you ask not you? They already put twos in the chat. I mean that's fine. DVK don't like me anyway, but that's fine. <laughs> oh, okay, that's literally what she said though. That was her her go to yeah. move, which was basically this. Yo, who who, who thinks who thinks fisherman? Fisherman is 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 is, is <laughs> why you put the young person. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's me. I knew a man, man. Marky Mark, man. Marky Mark is shit. In the funky months. Uh, fisherman, man. Damn, fisherman was ladies, ladies of our nation, man. Did y'all know that fisherman is anti-Semite? This based individual was 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 a monkey mark doppelganger, man. That's probably why he gets away with all that anti-Semitism, man, because the ladies just let it slide because he's thinking, No, I don't bring like you think I talk like this to girls. Yeah, man. <laughs> I think when I'm you know day, damn well, you know damn well this kind of talk would never fucking work. <laughs> I think on the first date, you like asking them, like, are they about their lineage to make sure they ain't got no Jews in their fucking family? <laughs> you don't want to get in, you don't want to get too deep. You don't want to fall for them and find out later, man. Salute to Deluxe 247, aka Cal Ripken, aka the real MVP, man. Um, they say you look like Mark Zuckerberg, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! Oh man. shit, man! Let me find out, man. Fisherman is fisherman is a uh, a Marky Mark doppelganger, man. Um, Marky Mark. That's Who believes good. that? I want to know. I want to know, um, um, ladies. I want to hear from the ladies, man. Ladies, just ladies, man. Well, I mean, either way, whatever they say, it doesn't matter because they're never gonna. Does that find make out. You, ladies, ladies? Does that make you look at? Let me, let me, let me put a poll. Let me do a poll, man. Let me actually do a poll, man. I'm gonna do a poll, man. Um, Titus, um, represent. Um, first, um, do you guys look like? Do you guys resemble any famous, um, <laughs> handsome, um, movie stars? It's funny you asked that. I've gotten uh, MGK before. Yeah. Oh God, the rapper! She I didn't Kelly know who he was like... until they told me I looked like him. That was a what about you? a number of years ago. What about you? Um, so um, yeah, I'm like a I'm like a Patrick Swayze mixed with a George Clooney kind of guy. <laughs> Seriously, damn! You sound, like, <laughs> you don't even sound like that. You she sound like you look me. like George Costanza or some shit. Bro. <laughs> 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 Damn. You, don't even, you don't even sound hot. You don't sound oh, hot. Oh my god. Um, 
Air, of Aaron C says, um, for some reason, when some women map on us, they say we look like someone famous. One said I look like Ryan Gosling the other day. Because they all think no we check. look alike. Nah, nah, that's that's common. Like they they do that. Like yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that's their go to thing. Is yeah, to do that. Yeah, you know, because they watch a lot of TV and movies, so it's like yeah. that's the that's yeah. a compliment. It's it's still sad, man. It, it breaks my heart that sisters. Um, don't do any of this within the community. Now, I don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that sisters won't let you holler at them. Like, if you holler at them, but they not giving nothing <laughs> but a fat ass. Now, they do give you this. They will dress like sluts a lot of times. But, but they ain't got nothing guess, to do with you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's kind of like a mate. It's kind of like a mate call a little bit. But um, as far as, like, approaching you, at least in my day, I don't know now. Now they give them booty heads, so who knows? They probably are approaching guys now. But in my day, you they would give you an opening, so she would make herself available. Like they right. might stop right. or pause or let you, yeah. you know, give you a give you a chance to come say something. But you right. gotta say something, right? Make a smile, a little wink, or you know, a little flirtatious type of motion or gesture that is going to get his attention, baby. Do not be afraid to speak first. Say hello. Hello does not hurt anybody. Actually, believe it or not, sometimes a hello can go a long way. You make somebody's day sometimes by just saying hello. Give him a compliment. Believe it or not, men like to be complimented, and that is definitely something that's going to make them open their mouths and extend some interest. Make sure you are whole within yourself because any man can spot weakness. So make sure you are whole and you are walking in with extreme confidence. Those are a few tips that I hope will help you guys. And trust me, if there's any more tips that anybody got, please drop them below, comment below on how you got your man, sis, or how your man found you, whatever. Be the part, play the part. And you will definitely attract what it is that you wanna attract. And the biggest thing of all, manifest it, okay? Damn. When it comes to a white yeah, guy, they put out all the stuff. Just like America did when it swept across the frontier. Damn. That's crazy, man. You like, I'm not, a, I'm not opposed to the idea. I'm just not going to listen to the whole racial shit nonstop. And I know that's going to be a thing. Man. That's crazy, man. You sisters. I remember David Carroll used to say this all the time. He said, white guys don't got to deal with the attitude that black women got. Because black women, man, they got. You think you think if you nagging and shit like that, you ain't seen nagging until you've been with, with a sister. <laughs> man, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm telling you, man. They, take, they, they like nag. They nag. It's just like everything else, man. Like, it's on overdrive, man. Their nagging is crazy, my G. Um. Yeah, so David Carroll said that white guys don't have to deal with the attitude. They don't give white guys the attitude. They give brothers. That's crazy. Yeah, I believe that. Wow. Shit. Um, let me get to the fuckery, man. Um, shit. White guys are winning, man. Hey, well, I was in the uh, I was in the corner store the other day, right? And this sister, she came over about these ATM. She yakking something. Nah, since y'all won't let us have these stores own a store on this block, like some Ethiopian brothers own the joint. They run the joint, they cool brothers or whatever, but whatever. She was yakking about oh, something. And then and then she sure. goes, um <clears throat> she goes, Yeah, I don't know. All them niggas from the eighties and nineties who had all that drug money, they don't own shit on the block. I was like, Yeah, man, that's crazy, ain't it? She's like, Yeah, something wrong with us. I was like, Yeah, something wrong with us. And when I said it, she realized how it sounded and so she tried to reel it back she was like well yeah you know that's because of education they don't have education and i was like oh okay true but i mean you don't really got to be that educated to see a store like they've seen a store before and like she right. was just like she was like yeah i was like that's just kind of strange and then she was like yeah that is strange and then she caught herself again and then she was like well you know, 
the Bible says that we were we were supposed to go through slavery, and so the Bible put us through that. And so you can't oh, be mad at that. I swear to God, I was just like, all right, sis, have a nice day. We need we need to get the the sister from Chicago on here again to explain all this to us. Yo, know, this conservative lady, the conservative sister from Chicago. She was really I'm sure the she's divested. Tiffany Hanyard. That was crazy to me. She's not. 